Hi guys, so we'll go through some uh, Selenium ID automated testing of Omage MWF on a Firefox browser. So first what we need to do is install the plugin. Well, we can do that from seleniumhq.org. Go to the download section and download the 1.10 release version. When you click on this link, you'll be prompted to install the add-on. Just follow the regular installation process and after restarting your Firefox browser, you should have the Selenium ID um, tool inside the tools menu. Clicking on this will open the Selenium IDE. Here you can uh, write test cases, test suites and run them. I already wrote some test cases so let's open it up. The .html files are individual test cases while the system is actually test suite which includes all of the test cases. So let's open the system. As you can see I wrote already four different test cases. One of them is login. So that test case includes commands, targets and verifications. So a command would be something like open auth.html or type in user.mwf under the username. So to run this test we'll go to the omajmwf webpage and then we'll click on the individual um, test case and we'll click on run. As you can see the automated test case will run and will verify that the dashboard is open and it's correctly displayed. So let's log out to run the entire test suite. So we'll click on this green button. So first we'll start with the login, then we'll do a check dashboard which will click on all the dashboard icons and make sure that the pages are valid and are correctly displayed. To slow down the process we can use this uh, toolbar and slow down the automation. Let's speed up again. So now we're doing a download campaign which will go through the available campaigns and download Josh's prompt type test and then delete the campaign and now we're back. Now we'll do logout. So great, we ran four different types of tests and we had zero failures. Uh, this is great, we can um, uh, you know, augment this with ad hoc testing if we want to just log in and then continue our testing, we can do that. We can just run the individual test. So how about we write a test case just to see how the process looks like. So let's create a new test case, move it up uh, above logout, and here what we want to do is check if the pending surveys are correctly displayed. So we'll click on the record button, we'll click on reminders, now we want to check that available reminders are correctly displayed. We right click on this and we say verify text present available reminders, so it will be added to the commands. Now what we want to do is add another command to click on the pending survey. So click on new, let's move this here, and the command will be click and wait, link will be pending. So to test if the, our command that we just wrote works, we'll right click on it and say execute this command. And as you can see it worked because we're redirected to the pending surveys. Now let's double check that the pending surveys are correctly uh, displayed, verify text present, and we want to click back that back to the dashboard. So let's add a new command. Command would be click and wait. And the target would be link dashboard. Uh, we can um, let's test if this works. Execute, and we're back to the dashboard. Let's double check where the dashboard by checking for um, verify that the logout button is still there. Great. Um, so now let's save our test case, save it under uh, pending mm, surveys and then let's save our test suite. Now we can run the pending surveys test. Let's check if it works. Great, now we're back to the dashboard and our tests uh, all passed. Um, let me know if you have any questions of how to set up Selenium. Uh, using this automation along with the QUnit tests could really help us to provide quality of quality assurance for our code that we provide. Thanks a lot. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye bye.